Bien, hoy acaba de lanzar la gente de OpenAI por fin un modelo de imágenes digno del 2025 y además fijaros el troleo que le han hecho desde, desde, desde Google. Esta es la imagen que ha puesto, creado con su nuevo modelo y aquí le ha puesto aquí el amigo que es, forma parte de Google AI Studio, le ha puesto que con las nuevas herramientas, como ya os enseñé el otro día, que coges una imagen y le puedes poner el texto que quieras y tu camisetita de Google. Pero dicho esto, eh, vamos a ver de dónde veníamos. Le he pedido a Google antes de... perdonar a ChatGPT antes de nada que me creara una imagen de una pala de pádel. Algo horrible, ¿vale? Esto. Y si lo comparamos con Gemini, ¿vale? La misma imagen. Esto ya tiene una pinta bastante similar a lo que son las palas de pádel, incluso el modelo de, de Grok, ¿vale? De imágenes, aquí me ha, me ha puesto el jugador, pero vemos que está bastante bien y lo de el modelo de ChatGPT incluso básicamente era el de pago versus los otros que son gratuitos. Así que vamos a ver qué es lo que nos están presentando, todavía no lo tengo accesible, eh, todavía no lo han liberado aquí en España, así que vamos a ver el vídeo que han introducido. So in this case, it's not just getting the context of my text prompt, but it's also getting this image, and it can use both of these to produce a really nice image for us. And this is possible because we train Foro as an Omni model. So, you know, it's a model of not just language, but images, audio, all modalities, in and out. It understands them, it can generate them, and it can, you know, seamlessly work across these things. And we have spent a lot of effort to, you know, make useful products like first advanced voice mode, where audio just works seamlessly, and now this where images just work seamlessly across the board. It is so cool that we're finally getting towards this truly integrated multimodal model that just does everything. Yeah, and in this case, you know, it gives the user a lot more control because, you know, I might want a specific style or I might want to use a specific previous image I have or, you know, a design palette or something. And they can provide all of this context to yeah. ChatGPT. It can just use all of this and, you know, produce the thing you want. It becomes more controllable. Oh, okay. All right. We can, you know, we're already seeing the sky behind us. The plants. plants. By the way, this goes live today in uh, ChatGPT and Sora. Um, I think Rollout's already started, so if you also want to make an anime version of yourself, you can you can now do that. Yeah, I think it's already out to all pro. Great. Uh, oh. Plus should be done pretty soon. Amazing. Nice. You get those It'll be available to free users too. I I see. I have my little beard there. I see <gasps> your expressions. Uh, and the, my perfect the hand sign. And my hand sign too. Yeah. Nice. What should we do next with this? Can we make a meme out of it? Ooh, make it into a um, Since that's on game speaker notes. Yeah, yeah, what yeah, do you wanna? Um, you know, one of the like common memes inside of OpenAI is feel the AGI. I have no idea what AI will think about that, but let's I try it. I do feel the AGI. Yeah, and in this case, right? Why that anime thing is so good. Yeah. Um, and in this case, you know, the model is seeing all of the past context as well. And you know, it uses all of its knowledge of you know language and memes and everything to give us a new rendition. And this multi-turn nature makes it even more useful to people, right? Like I can ask for any edit I want. If it gets it wrong, I can just be like, hey, you know, fix that thing. I think that you know is taking us into a direction of making these more like tools, not toys for people. And I think I'm really excited by that. Speaking of memes, how much like how much do you think Foro knows about like common internet memes in general? Like if we had picked. I, th I think it knows a lot, and I th in fact, when we first put this out to you know uh, people inside OpenAI, most of what we got was memes from people. I mean, we keep can tell you more about that. Yeah, I mean, you know, uh, memes were like one of the number one use cases for this model in our internal version. And yeah, I was just thinking about you know memes and why this use case you know kind of struck a chord with the company. And I, what I realized is that you know, as in the last nine months as I've been working on this model. Uh, I've been doing this kind of like meditative exercise where I sort of like uh, look at all the images around me and I realize I'm just surrounded by, you know, hundreds of images, maybe a day. And, you know, all these images, you know, not necessarily the most aesthetic or beautiful images, but they were all created with intent. They were all, you know, like memes, they were all created to, you know, to persuade, to inform, to educate. These are the workhorse images that, you know, comprise our everyday life. And what I'm very excited is that I'll be able to be giving this power to create workhorse images 
to everyone in the world in ChatGPT. Speaking of this power, um, we are giving a much higher degree of creative expression and creative freedom than we normally do. Um, and so what we'd like is for the model to not be offensive if you don't want it to be, but if you want it to be within reason, really let people create what they need and what they want to eat, what they want. And uh, I, you know, we may not get the line there perfectly on day one, but we think given what Gabe just said, we're, we want to lean pretty far into creative freedom and let people get maximum utility out of this model. Uh, you know, we're excited to see what people will do with it. Yeah, me too. Let's look at the meme we got. <laughs> That's great. Uh, OK, so thank you guys very much. And we're going to welcome a few other research and product people to show some more stuff, unless either of you have anything else. No, thanks, Sam. Cool. Yeah. Thank you. OK, so in addition to building uh, you know, all of the great research that went into this, we really wanted to work hard to make it a great product experience as well. Um, and so if my colleagues want to introduce themselves, maybe starting with Alan, we'll, we'll then show you a few more things. Hi, I'm Alan. I'm a research scientist at OpenAI. Hi, my name is Ben Chow. I'm an engineer on ChatGPT. Hi, my name is Zul. I'm a research scientist at OpenAI. So uh, as our models get more capable, uh, their knowledge of the world is deepening. Uh, but so far, they've really only been able to express themselves in either text or code. And I think what's really exciting about this release is that now these models can actually visualize what they know and externalize it in a visual way. So the prompt that I'm going to try is make a colorful page of manga describing the theory of relativity. And just for fun, we'll ask it to add some humor. How well do you find that the model understands like visual humor versus just funny text? I think that given that this prompt is like so vague, it'll be interesting to see you know, what kind of wild cardy stuff uh, the model comes up with. Um, this is really just like it leveraging the world knowledge that it has, writing maybe an extended version of the prompt, and then giving us a nice image. Uh, but you know, if you have a much more detailed sense of the kind of story that you want to convey in, in this kind of thing, like a manga or an image or in general, you can definitely do that. This model is very good at following instructions. Mm -hmm. And in the blog post that we just put out, there's a lot of nice examples of, uh, of how you can do exactly that. Um, by the way, these images are much slower than previous, uh, our previous image generation thing, but like unbelievably better. We think it's super, super worth the wait. Uh, we also will be able to make it faster over time. Um, but yeah, you know, it's just, it's like quite the, uh, the ratio of quality to time we think is, is already great. Yeah. Um, oh, and it looks like it's given us not only some English, but a uh, <laughs> different language here. But yeah, I think in general, um, we're hoping that this model's ability to not only generate images, but also blend in precisely. Bien, como vemos, pues básicamente ya por fin se han molestado en sacar un modelo de imágenes bastante interesante. Como os he dicho al principio, todavía no lo tengo acceso. En cuanto me den acceso, pues sacaré en mi otro canal el pruebas, pues haciéndolo desde mi lado. Pero digamos que el PRON versus el resultado parece bastante bien. No solo esta parte de, del texto, la teoría de la relatividad, time slowdown y el espacio, parece que todo está bien escrito. Parece que es una mejora sustancial.